All right, so is this really who Democrats want to be the face of their party? Here now to debate that is Democratic political analyst Wendy Osefo and New York City Councilman Joe Borelli. Thank you both for being here. We appreciate it. Good morning. So Thank as you. you can see, she's the cover girl of Time magazine. Um, Wendy, do you think it's deserving? I think it's deserving because of where she came from. A year ago, she was a waitress serving tacos, and now look at her. She's in Congress, so it's definitely the American Rags to Riches story. And I think the Democrats can learn some things from her, um, the big one being grassroots populism and the ways in which that can transform your campaign. However, I do not believe that the Democratic Party should bear hug one candidate or one person in Congress because, you know, everyone has their issues and everyone has their flaws, and she is not immune to that. So we have to be mindful of who we crown as our poster child or our savior, so to speak, because that will end up hurting us in the long run. Okay, fair enough. And Joe, I want to get your take on this because you could see Time Magazine seeming to praise her. But then let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of other Time Magazine covers involving Donald Trump. And you'll see it's a different story here. The first one here from July 1st. Uh, we have another cover from September of 2018 and a third one from January of 2018. Uh, none of them really quite as praiseworthy. No, not at all. I mean, I don't think we're surprising anyone by saying Time Magazine and, and most of the mainstream media has this bias against Donald Trump. I, I do think, however, that time is very uh, much on point here. Uh, th this particular congresswoman, uh, AOC, uh, th this Pied Piper of flatulent cows, is, uh, for all intents and purposes, the spokesperson for the Democratic Party. And it is remarkable that a freshman member of Congress who is uh, just so gaff prone to, from everything from how internships work to Palestine to, to anything, you know, <laughs> really, I mean, she, she is a, a, a one hit wonder of, of, of gaffes all the time. But she is effectively the Democratic Party. Party spokesman, and she puts people in her party in, in very awkward positions all the time. The Cal thing is never going to go away. Um, Wendy, you know, I want to get back to something she said at the town hall. This was an MSNBC town hall on Friday called All in America with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And during that town hall, as we heard a bit of it there in the beginning of this segment, she falsely stated that Republicans in Congress in the 1940s amended the Constitution to make sure then-President FDR did not get reelected. Um, Part of a history lesson here, though, he died in office in 1945 and the Second Amendment passed in 1947, two years later. So, you know, a lot of people quick to correct her, but also rightly so. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think she should be corrected. When any politician, whether you sit on the left or the right side of the aisle, makes a mistake, you should be corrected, whether that's by your constituents or the people in which, you know, are, are watching the show that you're on. However, this is not something that's completely akin to her. We have politicians in office, one that resides at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, who continues to make gaffes. So again, this is not something where we should point fingers and say that this one freshman congresswoman is doing, is not doing her job effectively, because she is. She still has things to learn. She's going to learn on the job. And as someone who is in the Democratic Party, I do believe that we should just give her time to continue to expand her wings. I guess so. It's hard, Joe, to learn on the job quite so publicly. Yeah, and again, you know, if it was one time or two times, it would be one thing. But this is a person who uh, seemingly every time she goes on camera has these word salads of, of, of nonsense. I mean, in this past town hall, she compared 9-11 to Hurricane Maria to the war in Iraq uh, and, and amongst other things. You know, to, to have to go back and do cleanup and, and damage control as a party is not something the Democrats need going into 2020. You know, I think President Trump is right when, when he sort of uh, half-jokingly said how great she is. I mean, she might be the person who single-handedly sinks the party in 2020. All right, Wendy, Joe, thank you very much for your time. Thank we you. appreciate it. Thank you. And we asked you on social media, 